155 Celestial Dragons. I'm actually going to do this in ED2 because I think the first boss is a Celestial Dragon as well as a lot of the uh, trash mobs in the raid is Celestial Dragons. And I need to get the uh, Codexes anyways and Onyx Dust is nice from ED2. Welcome to another video by the way. Let's get started with some ED2. Oh my god, I got like a full inventory of logs from one single Bloodwood tree. I'm making a Ruby the Criminal bolts for ED2 by the way. And uh, wow, I still can cut the tree. Usually I get like 5 or 6 logs per tree. This one so far has given me 18 I think that is. And 19. Wow, that is insane. Oh man, a 132 Astellarn, that is definitely a record. Of course, because of the Slayer Helmet, Essence of Finality, and I'm using Ruby by Criminal Bolts E, which is, uh, well, these by Criminal Bolts are going to be so good on uh, Veraklith because he has like 600,000 HP, so most of the time I will be hitting like 10, 12k with these. Nice, another personal best, 535, and actually a lot of Onyx Dust as well, 27. Oh my god, I just checked my chest and I have Celestial Hand Wraps. That's tier 90 magic gloves. Uh, probably not that useful because I have Cinder Banes, but uh, cool nonetheless, I guess. Actually getting doubled on the last boss, 16 Draconic Energy, and uh, that was also a personal best, by the way. I think it's because uh, I have Dark Bow in my Essence of Finality now, as well as Cinder Bane Gloves and also the Ruby by Criminal Bolts. I didn't have that last time I did ED2. So that is most likely why I'm getting all these records. I think this will be my last run. This is actually my fifth run. And then after that we will check the chest for all the loot. But uh, I haven't got any codexes. So that's why I haven't shown any loot really. But uh, I'm going to end at 10 KC for the entire raid after this. Let's see, 9. So yeah, all the bosses will be on 10 KC after this run. Last the Stellan drop of the video. 11 Onyx Dust. Pretty nice. Got that achievement for the 10 KC as well. That's the first time I've ever done a foodless Veraklith. The only slot here was actually a restore, so uh, yeah, I didn't use any food on this. I just did a pretty good soul split flicking with magic prayer, which is not super hard on this boss, but uh, yeah, that's still the first time I managed to do it. And for the last boss, I got six draconic energy, so nothing too good, but I actually only used like five, six sailfish for that one, so uh, also pretty good on food, but let's check the chest now. It is 11.8 million, and it is uh, only two perfect gemstone scales, that's kind of unfortunate. I hoped to get more precious components from that, because look how good this is. Every time you uh, disassemble one of these, you get four precious components. But um, yeah, two onyxes, because when you get 100 dust, it just turns into an onyx. And also I think I have like 250 onyx dust in the bank, so uh, yeah, I got like four or five onyxes from this, pretty good. Something I had not done but I did like two days ago is I built this out of disassembler because uh, actually just standing there and disassembling logs for simple parts when I need more charge for my uh, invention gear is very boring and tedious, it takes a lot of time. So uh, let's just uh, take out some of these. Look at that, 1300 simple parts. I think I put in like 3000 mahogany logs to begin with and um, it doesn't really drain that much energy either so it is very nice just passive simple parts and uh, now i can make a lot of divine charges as you can see so if you don't know i am in this series currently trying to kill as many corrupted creatures as possible for that kopesh drop but when i was looking into the rune wiki page on what slayer masters are the best to assign this creature I misread the information. I'm going to put on the screen right now what I was reading. So Corrupted Creature Slayer tasks are assigned by Simona, Karadal, Morvran and Lanikea. Simona has a higher chance of assigning them. I actually thought that it said that all of these have a higher chance of assigning them. But Lanikea has a, which I've been using, 10 weight on the monster. And the higher the weight, the more chance you are of getting the task. But Simona has a 25 weight, so more than double chance of giving those creatures. So if I use this Slayer Master, I should be able to get a lot more Corrupted Creature tasks, which is going to help out on the Copish grind a lot. Let's see what the first one is. Fungal Magi and Trolls? Jesus. 100 million magic experience, only 4 million or 4.3 million to go until we get that 120 cape. It's going to look so nice on my character, man. 
What's so good about this Slayer Master is that when you do get corrupted creatures, you get a lot of them. And when you get another task, like uh, Fungal mag Magi and stuff like that, which are very easy tasks in general, you only get like 80 or 100 of them. So the tasks in between are very fast and you get a lot of corrupted creatures, so it's perfect. Obviously a small sample, but uh, Jesus, one skip and I get another corrupted creature. This is uh, nice. I saw a huge beam and uh, oh my god, an effigy uh, from corrupted scorpions that is definitely way more rare than getting the Kopesh. Unfortunate, but it is some free experience, so I'll take it. I'm going to tell you guys something that's pretty insane. Uh, I don't have the Jack of Spades quest completed. Which uh, is the access to Menaphos quest, which actually also unlocks the player-owned Slayer dungeon. And I feel like that is probably something I should unlock when I'm going to do a lot of Slayer. So I guess it's time to do like a 5 minute quest that I just uh, haven't done yet. Uh, I th uh, this, this did not happen in the guide I was watching. Is this bugged? Why am I just flying in the air? What is even happening? Uh, the other guy just got teleported to uh, the Menaphos uh, area, but uh, apparently, I guess, my character just felt like uh, chilling in the air for a bit. Look at this guy. Land carpets. Can I unbug it by doing this? Oh, okay. So, uh, you can just get teleported there. Maybe it was just a bugged animation. That looked hilarious. Alright, this should be the end of the quest. As I said, pretty much like a 5 to 10 minute quest. And that is the access to Menaphos. And I should be able to uh, set up the Slayer dungeon now, I'm pretty sure. So here is the Slayer dungeon. And there is 5 spots in every room. But you can see that some rooms are, of course, larger than others. And this one is the smallest one. So if I want to grind some uh, monsters really fast then this is a good one because, uh, you know, I can just stand in the middle and they will aggro me, for example, Corrupted Scorpions, which I was actually thinking about doing, but I'm pretty sure if I kill Corrupted Scorpions in here, they will just drop the loot right away and there won't be a chest that picks the loot up, but I will have to try that. But um, because of every world basically being super occupied with Corrupted Scorpions, it is probably taking me like 5 to 10 minutes or even more sometimes to even find a world for those creatures. So if I could just go here every time, that would save a lot of time. I got two ascended components, which is some rare materials. It is actually from disassembling like Sirenic items, so really high tier items like Ascension Crossbow, stuff like that. And my prayer ran out. But um, I was looking up what perks you actually can unlock with that, and it is the efficient one, enhanced, efficient, and all those. And uh, those are reduce the drain rate of your invention items. So for example, if I would have that on a chest piece, maybe the charge drain rate would go down by a certain percentage when I use that. So I have to get less divine charges. But of course it takes up a slot on my invention gear. So I, for example, could not have this uh, relentless end crackling. So I was thinking that it is probably pretty useless to use that, but if you guys know any good uses for that, then uh, let me know. But uh, from the first impression, it seems kind of bad. 10,000 corrupted creatures killed and actually just hit 110 slayer as well. So now with a wild pie I can kill the magister and I probably in my next video will try to get some kills on it just to try it out. The time has finally come for my Iron Man to achieve its first true skill mastery cape. I am now 5 experience of that 120 magic. So when I kill one of these strike worms, it is going to happen. It is going to be so nice and I'm going to get an override for it most likely. So I'll buy two capes, one that I can have in my bank and one that I can override. Look at that, 120 magic and I guess it's time to go and get the cape. So I'm going to assume you just talk to the magic cape shop guy and hopefully it's not uh, all too expensive. Can I buy a skill cape of magic? And I've mastered the skill. There we go. So I uh, should be able to buy a 120 cape now. Buy magic master cape. Oh, it's only 120k. So uh, there we have it. And I'm actually going to buy another one right away now that I'm already here. So as I said, for that uh, placeholder that I can, uh, you know, keepsake. I think I have some keepsake keys, so it should be good. 
Oh my god, dude. I am actually... It's going to, going to look so nice. I've had this kiln cape and all the kiln cape for so long. And, uh, of course, I've had a normal skill cape as an override. I don't have a keepsake key, but I guess I can get one. But uh, I've had a cape co uh, override... Which is just a normal skill cape. Oh, okay. I don't want to waste time and go through. Oh, here we go. So I've had these as overrides for a while. But uh, having this now is going to be so nice. Look at this. Oh my god. Now my character actually looks like a decent account. Man, I love these capes. They're so clean. I've actually run out of invention charge and that's usually how it goes when I PVM all the time. I have been doing a lot of slayer tasks, I'm currently at 763 slayer tasks and probably in the last two videos or so I've gained 11 million slayer experience and I'm trying to get as many corrupted creature tasks as possible. I actually did some shifting tombs as well but that wasn't too interesting, I just opened as many chests as possible to get the feathers of malt because I was struggling with actually getting enough of them for all the creatures I wanted to kill. I'm currently at almost 11,000 corrupted creatures killed and of course I still haven't opened the chest. That is going to be an event I do when I do get that Kopesh drop which I'm now above the drop rate for. A bit well over the drop rate actually. It's 8k so I'm uh, almost on my way to one and a half on the drop rate and still no Kopesh but uh, I'm still going to keep grinding it out and I'm probably going to swap experience now to uh, defense of course when doing magic as I don't don't really care for 200 mil but I'm going to end the video on that please like the video if you liked it it really helps my videos get shown more subscribe and uh, hit the bell if you want to get notified when I post new content also you can click any of the videos on the screen right now or the playlist to watch this series from the beginning or any other point you want to start at hope you guys have a good one take care